you very much. Uh, good evening, uh, everybody. Uh, a quick uh, uh, update on the situation with regards to um, uh, with regards to the evacuation of, uh, of Nigerians. Um, as the uh, chairman uh, has said, we have um, evacuated Nigerians from Dubai, uh, London, and um, the U.S. New York or Newark. And, uh, well, first of all, I would like to express our profound gratitude to the heads of our missions uh, in the United Arab Emirates, uh, in, uh, in London, and, uh, and in uh, New York. Uh, they all worked extremely hard uh, in the consulates and the embassies and uh, were able to deliver very good uh, results. So I really thank them uh, for their very, very hard work. Um, the flight from the UK... Uh, unfortunately, it was a unique flight, as I mentioned. Um, it's the only one we're going to attempt uh, uh, what we attempted uh, in that case, which was uh, to drop the passengers uh, in, in Lagos and then transfer them with a completely different carrier uh, to, uh, to Abuja. Unfortunately, uh, a number of things went uh, uh, not the way we wanted them to go, and for that we apologize uh, most uh, profusely to all the passengers, uh, those who had to wait a uh, significant amount of time uh, in Lagos before boarding the uh, connecting flight uh, to, uh, to Abuja. Um, it was totally uh, unforeseen, something we would have been difficult uh, to, um, uh, to address uh, uh, beforehand. The crew of uh, the uh, connecting carrier uh, were not able to, although the plane was there, Unfortunately, we were not able, uh, for a number of reasons, uh, to board the, the plane immediately and take the passengers uh, to, uh, to Abuja. We, uh, we were fully engaged during the whole process, trying to uh, get that plane to take off uh, quickly. Uh, but as I said, you know, unfortunately, uh, this did not happen, and we apologize uh, truly uh, to, um, to all those uh, passengers. And also in Abuja, there were some logistic issues uh, that again uh, created some delay. And, um, and there again, uh, profound apologies. We have put in place mechanisms now to uh, ensure that uh, no such thing uh, occurs uh, again and have really taken all the strictest measures that we, we need to take. And, um, and we saw the benefits of those and those new mechanisms we've put in place uh, because the flight that came in uh, yesterday from, uh, from the United States, uh, everything went uh, uh, seamlessly, and that's how we would want to uh, keep that uh, going, uh, going forward. Um, now we have over 600 uh, evacuees uh, in uh, various um, uh, accommodation uh, in Lagos and, uh, and in Abuja, and um, we're reaching uh, as I understand from our medical people, a uh, saturation point. Uh, the maximum we can really uh, cope with and be able to deliver uh, adequately and, uh, and professionally uh, the services and the care uh, that we, um, we're supposed to. Uh, so this will mean that uh, we will be staggering our flights um, in uh, evacuating uh, Nigerians and um, making sure that we deal with the ones that we have uh, in place before uh, bringing back uh, others. Uh, but we certainly you know, will hope that uh, in an uh, uh, adequate period of time, we will be able to uh, bring back uh, some of the others uh, out there. And there are many uh, still uh, out there, uh, Nigerians in, uh, in China, in India, Canada, South Africa, Sudan, France, Lebanon, Egypt, and, um, and all this really calls into question our absorptive capacity, our capacity to absorb you know, such large numbers. And, uh, and clearly, our system is being uh, strained, so we really have to take it easier and also to ensure that you know, we, can, we can deliver optimally uh, as we're supposed to. Um, another issue that's come up in the media quite often has been the issue of using Nigerian carriers. Um, I've explained in the past, and, uh, and I'll do that just very quickly again. Um, you know, the, 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 the carrier that came from the United Arab Emirates uh, 
um, it was not a government uh, organized one um, and um, the one from the UK was one that was coming already and the um, and the one that came from uh, from the US was one that had been uh, uh, arranged and pretty much you know a private sector uh, initiative but um, you know the government is mindful uh, of the uh, importance and the need to use um, local carriers and um, in, I'm happy to say that uh, the pipeline uh, flights, uh, the flights that we have uh, in, in process of uh, arranging, uh, missions are arranging, are all Nigerian uh, carriers. So henceforth going forward, uh, we hope that we'll be using uh, only Nigerian carriers. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.